What up boys and girls? We are, well, I guess, let me start by saying this. I know we're right down by the lake again to start a video, and I promise we're not gonna start every video down by the lake, yet here we are. But I mean, come on, dude, we're following this Ferrari. I mean, how, how damn cool is that? Let's, uh, I don't want that dude to think I'm stalking him, so we're gonna go this way. But anyway, I figured we start the video, I'd come down here, give you guys a quick overview of everything I've done to the bike so far. And then I still have some other bits that are in the mail that should be here within the next few days, but I'll kind of cover that with you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so we'll do a quick overview of the bike, of the couple things I've done. Like I said, I have a few more things that are in the mail that should be here within the next week, and I'll get that stuff installed. So we have um, Alt-Rider crash bars, lower and upper. And I went with the upper because honestly, I mean, do they look BA, don't they? I mean, I know they're, are they $300 worth of BA? I don't know. I like them. We got the Alt Rider um, fork protection here. We have ACD racing skid plate. Now this combination here, I don't know, man. I don't think I would do it again. It, uh, the ACD skid plate, honestly, was kind of a pain to install. The stuff wasn't really lining up at first. And then I don't know if you can see under here, the alt rider bars and the acd skid plate have to kind of work together i couldn't get the bolts in and it was like i don't know it was kind of a nightmare nothing was lining up and i'm pretty sure i cross-threaded one of those bolts because like one went in relatively smooth the other one no matter what it like wasn't going in smooth and it kind of went in kind of tight so yeah not this combination i don't think i'd recommend it now this skid plate is super beefy so if you're just looking for some protection i mean i would recommend it but probably not with the alt rider crash bar so if you're doing a different setup maybe but nothing that utilizes those two motor mounts there so i know you guys saw the the wind deflectors you saw the super braces that i did um just those couple things up front and then the biggest thing that i'm actually kind of proud of here we did these little uh footman loops i bought on amazon and uh, this these are actually pretty neat so there's really nowhere to strap any bags or anything onto the uh the saddle bags on the top so i picked these up and they're like little one inch um, footman loops and then i drilled uh through the top of the case here a couple washers and bolts i used a dremel to kind of dremel out some of that so that the washers kind of seat flat i got a couple of 15 liter bags i ordered so i'll be able to strap the bags on the top here for when i go camping um i've also got which hopefully actually maybe next week might be the first camping trip on this thing we'll see um and then i also ordered um i have an alt rider rear luggage rack that's on its way should be here monday and i have roto packs a gallon of water um so I figured that'll be nice for, you know, my jet boil, uh, making coffee and uh, freeze dried meals, that kind of stuff. I figure that'll be the easiest way on the bike for camping. So that's kind of it for now. A couple other small things I have coming. I got one of the uh, side stand uh, plates for, you know, making it a little bit bigger, a couple inches bigger. And then I did the uh, Alt Rider Lexan headlight cover in black that should be here probably Monday. So a bunch of stuff, been spending a lot of money, probably too much money. Don't tell my wife. Yeah, guys, we got an absolutely beautiful day here. I don't know uh, what's on the agenda for today, though, really. I just wanted to give you the quick overview of the bike, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go grab lunch or something. I'm probably going to get away from the lake. It says it's about 78 degrees. It's not really windy or anything, as you can see. Not really a cloud in the sky, so this will be a nice change of pace. For as nice of a day as it is, I'm kind of surprised there's not more people out. I mean, I know it's a Sunday, but man, it's beautiful. It's like, I don't know, 1130. It's not even noon yet. Maybe people are still sleeping, sleeping off the uh, the Saturday night boozing. Man, now that I've been able to put some more miles on this bike, I really love it, man. It's a lot more fun than riding the Harley whoever it was. This thing puts a much bigger smile on my face. And uh, riding the Harley, it was something that... You know, I don't know. I, I think I've told you this guy's another video. Like, I liked it. I liked the Harley. It was cool looking. I really liked how it looked. Uh, it was a head turner. And I never felt connected with it. You know, you know how sometimes if you have something, and we're just talking like material stuff. It can be whether you're into like cars, motorcycles, whatever it is. You know, if you have something, you do some work to it. And you kind of like, you know, you feel like you know every nut and bolt. And, it, you know, you kind of bond with the machine you know man in the machine and i just never i don't know man i never got that with the harley it was a cool bike i liked it but it just didn't uh didn't do it for me it didn't trip my triggers you know and then you got the whole dressing up like a pirate thing i felt like every time i jump on that bike i had to put the uniform on wasn't really into that
at least with this bike it's kind of like I just wear like my normal everyday clothes and I can jump on the bike and go for a ride. You know, I'm like, I feel, I feel like this probably sounds really stupid, right? Like, you shouldn't care what anybody thinks of you, bro. But like when you're riding a Harley and you see a guy wearing like cargo pants and some, you know, Reeboks or something and a Hurley t-shirt, I mean, it's kind of like, hmm, you don't fit the description, man. You need some jeans and some boots and a black t-shirt and like a chain wallet and a bandana, right? Maybe a cigarette hanging out of your mouth or something too. So yeah, I don't know. I didn't really, I, yeah. <laughs> hopefully I don't make anybody mad there. I understand there's all types of ride Harleys, but that's just kind of the stereotype. And hey man, I rode one for two years. And I kind of, dude, I did catch myself. Like I'd start, it's kind of funny how this happens. Like you slowly, as you, at least for me, like as I was riding the Harley, I would kind of catch myself like more and more, kind of like molding into like your stereotypical Harley rider where like every time I would go I'd have jeans, black boots, you know I was wearing like a black denim vest. I didn't have patches all over it or anything so that's where I draw the line. I drew the line at patches. I wasn't covered in patches and I always had a full face, well not always had a full face helmet. 90% of the time I had a full face helmet on. I did have a three-quarter helmet that um, I wore occasionally if it was just like scaldering hot but scaldering is that a what? what kind of word is that smoldering scolding hot scoldering <laughs> i don't know you think you knew what i meant though anyway but it was just i'd wear that helmet if it would just got way too hot but normally full face helmet just because i don't know i feel safer that way but yeah i kind of catch myself like slowly you know dressing the part and that's when i kind of like took a step back and was like hey man maybe you need to reassess some things I never really felt connected to that bike. I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like it was part of me. I didn't have any kind of emotional or like, you know, attachment to it. It just kind of was like, it was a motorcycle. It was a bike, meh. You know, and I, like I said, I'm into camping and Jeeps and stuff like that. And I felt like the bike like this fit that mold better. And just after now only having like 650 miles on this thing or 700 miles, whatever it is now, dude, I'm, I, I already feel like I have an attachment to it. Like I enjoy riding it, it's comfortable. I've already turned a lot of nuts and bolts on this thing and kind of, you know, did some stuff to make it my own and I really enjoy it. The power it puts down, you know, going around corners and stuff and being able to power out of corners and when I'm riding, it definitely makes it more fun, man. And this bike, uh, this bike definitely checks off a lot of those boxes. A lot of boxes for the funds. If you're just trying to have some funds. So like I said, man, I really don't have a plan for today. So maybe we'll go grab lunch somewhere. I don't know. We'll go out, uh, Maybe west, maybe, maybe we'll head southwest. We'll go down into uh, Illinois, maybe. Ooh, roundabout. Went around downshift. Third gear. Can we make it? We're gonna go. Do, 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 do. Come on, dude. Everybody goes so slow in these things. I know the speed limit in them is like 15 miles an hour. So I probably shouldn't go cooking into it doing like 45. What's the rule though? It's uh, whatever the mile per hour is, you double it and add 10, right? So 15, 35, I should be able to go, yeah, I should be good going 40. That's just my rule. I think I just made that up, right? Yeah, man, you can't, can't do that. Can't, well, actually I used to do that on my Harley too. So I guess I can't say that. Uh, I should probably mow my lawn too. I kind of avoided that today. I decided, you know what, I'm going to go go for a ride, make another video for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it, the sacrifices I'm making. My grass is probably a good, I don't know, five five inches tall. So, so really it's, always, it's probably like, I don't know what, two and a half inches, three inches. Every guy over exaggerates, right? So there's not really anywhere for like dirt riding around here. So it's not like I can take you guys on any trails or anything. So I don't know, you guys tell me, as far as these videos go, if I'm just cruising around yapping, do you like these county roads? I mean, they're pretty boring, dude. They're just like, it's trees and they're flat, flat, straight, no twisties. Or do you guys like the stuff in town? Cause I could have stayed like closer to the lakes, a little more populated. I could have, what are you doing? I could have stayed, uh, I don't know, should we go straight? Oh, dude, look at me. I'm, I'm telling you, there's no, gravel roads I mean, normally there's a fence over here maybe we just go straight do we just go straight guys oh sorry it doesn't say road closed we can't do it right 
So let's do it. Ooh, hopefully I don't crash. <laughs> Always thought that this would be a really uh, a fun discipline of riding, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can feel the bike. Like, when you hit those patches where the gravel looks loose, you can feel the bike kind of, like, walking underneath you back and forth. It's a little bit of an unsettling feeling. So maybe we'll just take it easy. I know the speed limit says 20, but I know, we're only going 26. So maybe we'll just cruise, right? It's kind of cool little road though. I mean, even though again, it's completely straight, but it's different. Oh man, let's stand up, dude. We'll get the full, we'll get the full uh, ADV effect, right? Gotta stand up like a boss until I like lean back and actually crack the throttle. Probably make for a good video. Wouldn't be good for me. Oh, wouldn't be wouldn't be good for me. See, I almost just did it as I was saying it. Wouldn't be good for me though. Or my pretty new bike. But hey, we could test out these crash bars. Stop sign. And the ABS kicked in. Nice. And being able to explore, man, that's the fun stuff. Just coming out, going on a road you've never been on before, checking it out. A bike like this affords you the ability to do that. You know, it's not like you're on a big bagger that. You know, you're terrified to take down a dirt road. Especially that bike I had with all the chrome and everything. Dude, it was such a pain to clean. I mean, this thing, I can just kind of hose it off. Like, do the little uh, foam sprayer with the soap. Spray it on, let it sit, hose it down, wipe it down, done. You know, I'm not sitting around, like, polishing every little spoke and getting every little crack and making it shine. And ain't nobody got time for that. I don't have time for that. I don't want to have time for that. I'd rather be out riding now that we've been cruising down this way for a little bit i'm kind of hoping i'm kind of hoping <laughs> that it doesn't dead end because that would kind of suck if i just got to turn around and drive straight back there was no dead end sign or anything so we might be all right all right it looks like we're coming up to a to a road here yeah it's not really too much going on back here no twisties or anything just kind of a straight shot through to another main road but hey better than staying on pavement dun, dun, dun. Milburn Milburn Road well I'm unfamiliar that was Crawford Road I don't know we'll take a right uh, what are we feeling for lunch boys and girls I'm getting kind of hangry it's noon. I don't know, dude, I wake up so early. I was up at like 5.30 this morning. I usually wake up for work at like 3.30. And then my internal clock just wakes me up. Once it's like in between five and six, like every day on a weekend, even if I stay up till like midnight, thinking like, oh, you know, I'll sleep in. No, it's like 5.30, boom, wide awake. So anyway, the moral of the story here was I had a bowl of cereal when I woke up and it's noon, which is like six hours from when I had said bowl of cereal. Now I'm hangry, dude. Fat, I gotta eat. Chicago style hot dog? I don't know, that sounds delicious right now. Really anything sounds good. Did I mention I'm hungry? All right, so now I think I have it settled. I'm virtually positive I want a Chicago style hot dog. So where do we get this hot dog? We're already, we're down in Illinois now. It's a staple down here. Most little, uh, little restaurants or joints around here will have uh, a Chicago style dog. So we'll just, we'll find one. All right, now if memory serves, I believe there is a hot dog joint coming up here shortly. I don't remember what it's called or anything. I used to live down this way like years ago. And there's a motorcycle shop, a uh, metric shop that I used to frequent. I actually bought a bike back from them. One bike or two bikes? I think just one bike back in the day. Not the place I bought the Tenere from. That's like way further. But yeah, so I used to come down here. I'm pretty sure there's a hot dog joint down in the corner. So we'll check it out. Ugh. All right, let's see. Is it still here? Our dogs. We'll just... Uh, through the gas station there it is all right let's go get it let's go get a dog we got this park right here even though this isn't a spot oh
Now I know these things aren't super pretty, but you got uh, onions, tomato, pickle, uh, mustard, no ketchup. You don't ever put ketchup on a hot dog. Come on. A little celery salt, and it's all beef hot dog. None of that uh, leftover pork parts. Uh, you know what, guys? I feel like I've been doing some riding in a little bit hotter weather. Man, I might need to invest in some Febreze, dude. This helmet is uh, it's getting pretty ripe. I suppose I could just buy some new cheek pads or something, too, maybe. I don't know. Oh, we should probably stop and get some gas. It's like, dude, I feel like this thing should, like, ding at me or scream at me or something. It just doesn't. The gas light on this thing? You just, like, forget about it, man. And this thing, I don't even know how long it's been flashing at me, so we'll get gas real quick. Oh, man, as far as the hot dog, it was aight. I've had better. Normally, they put a little sport peppers on them. I didn't have sport peppers. Disappointed me a little bit. Super duper premium, 93. I think I only have 91 by me. She gets the good stuff today. Oh, a little dribbles, a little dribble, 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 drop. All right. Do not want a receipt. Oh, all right, guys. And there is that bike shop that's like, it's right down the road that way, like a block. But you know what? I'm not even gonna tempt myself because I've been spending way too much money. Hopefully my wife doesn't watch this. Of course she's gonna watch it. Sorry, babe. So we're gonna be uh, responsible. We're gonna be responsible adults and not even go so we don't give in to temptation. Because I feel like anytime you go, I mean, come on, right guys? Anytime you go to a shop, whether it's overpriced or not, you're always buying something. Whether it's a t-shirt or a pair of gloves or something for the bike. No temptation today. We're not going. All right, guys, hopefully this turns out to be a little bit shorter video than normal. Like I said before, I feel like every time I like, I set out to do like maybe like a 12, 13 minute video. And once I edit everything down, it's like it's like 20 minutes. It's like, God, dude, like just shut up, make a shorter video. A, it's gonna be easier for you to edit. B, you can upload it faster. I don't have to spend all day on it. God, all right, anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure you give me a like. Subscribe, please, if you haven't already. Share the video with your friends. I mean, who doesn't want to hear me ramble on about like nothing all day, right? I mean, come on. And uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.